Welcome to Honey and Brown. Welcome. What do we do here? We do anime and music. Today? Music Corner. Back or to some MJ Corner. MJ, yeah. Back to <laughs> Michael Jackson. Um, This was a request by a lot of you guys in the comments for our last Michael Jackson, Man in the Mirror. Um, a lot of people said to do the uh, 1988 uh, Grammy performance. That it will blow our mind. Yeah. So I, it's weird. Uh, typically on this part, it's me introducing my wife um to michael jackson you know if you if you're new here it's basically um i play her songs by michael jackson or just by bands that have meant a lot to me and i get to introduce it to her because you know she's not really musically inclined <laughs> <laughs> but i haven't seen this performance you know i mean i've we've heard the song obviously but the 1988 grammy one uh i have never seen this live performance so i'm actually this is again one of the first on here is that i haven't seen this so it's going to be a reaction for me as well so yeah yeah very excited so let's get on to it but before we start uh, i just want to say thank you guys for all of your guys support all of the comments likes and all that type of stuff we you know we're, we're blown away every day by all the comments and all the support yeah so everyone so is so genuine everyone is so courteous to us yeah. like everyone is just so amazing like i can i cannot believe sometimes when i read our comments that everyone is just so supportive and yeah. so loving and like we're so blessed we're so grateful for you guys yeah so thank you guys so much for that but uh yeah uh, typically we uh go straight into the video and then we usually spend i don't know usually about 10 15 20 minutes kind of uh talking about it afterwards so if, if you're into that please watch until the end but yeah let's get on to it this is uh michael jackson man in the mirror the 1988 grammy live performance now let's go let's go oh i love his style here i love that shirt oh oh my god Gonna feel real good. Gonna make a difference. Gonna make it right. As I turn up the collar on my favorite winter coat, the wind is blowing my mind. Love seeing him perform live. Yeah. <laughs> and it's live it's he sounds so good this beat <laughs> Bring such an energy, holy cow. Demo, of course the Michael is my number one. <laughs> you can't listen to that and say that that's not your number one. You Oh, man. It's, it's 
hurts to see. Honestly, wow, like that was an emotional experience. Um Yeah, holy. one of our subscribers kinda said, like, you know, it's a spiritual experience. Oh and God, that is, is so true. It like, is. especially with this song. Like oh like, oh my god, like I Oof, I don't want to go too in depth with the song just because we did that on our last Man in the Mirror. So go and check that out. Um just on like the song itself. Um, but I want to talk about the performance. The performance is good god that is that is a performance like that is how you perform a song um especially at the grammys and mm -hmm. um it's kind of heartbreaking as well just because um this was kind of the time when the world was trying to bring down michael jackson because previously during his thriller days this man walked out with what was it like eight grammys like he swept the grammys at the time like he won every award he like he he took over the grammys during the thriller era and then this is during the bad era this is can you believe it he won zero grammys at this award show zero and it was done on purpose like it like i've we all know the grammys screwed michael um how can you go from you know the thriller album to the bad album 
and the bad album is just as good as a thriller like to me they're both influential releases of the 80s and for him for them to snub him i, I mean I'm, I'm i think he was nominated but one zero like how can that and then they make him perform and then he gives the performance of a lifetime um there's also another song that he performed from what i read it's uh the way you make me feel but i actually want you to react to the music video so i don't want you to hear the live performance yet because given her that song but he did two songs on here and both performances i mean i'm assuming the first performance was awesome but this song right here like with all of his peers and, and all the grammy executives everything and he stole the show and you guys don't want to give him an award because oh of God. and i mean i'm not really sure there is a mini documentary that I, I would love to watch with you on here about um kind of the controversy around this time about why maybe they didn't give him the grammys but i don't know i want to kind of focus on the performance and that performance was phenomenal that was that was a performance of a lifetime that is man that I thought I loved Man in the Mirror before. This performance just made Man in the Mirror probably like my top two favorite song of all time. Because that performance, like you hear his raw voice and you see the choir behind him. And then the last minute or the last minute and a half or two minutes of him just kind of not really going acapella, but him kind of just singing with the choir only. And I don't know, man, that's it's like a it's definitely an experience. And it's uh, man, it, it made my soul cry <laughs> like I. I love it so much. Like, I love this song already, but this performance, like, when you just, when you see him perform, it makes me so jealous that I've never seen him perform live. Like, he yeah. is, he's just phenomenal. Like, he, like, you know, like, you can see him giving his everything there. Oh, it's just like and i'm so angry yeah and you, you see him with so much talent and you see just i mean i don't want to take it away from the performance like i don't want to yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know how how the hell could and especially the bad album like out of all of uh michael's earlier work i i mean i love the thriller album but i really love the bad album like mm -hmm. i love that album so much there are so many i mean songs like that's the song with liberian girl yeah. and uh smooth criminal you know bad uh man in the mirror you know i just can't stop loving you which i really want you to listen to that song yeah this album's so uh, in, amazing and what it did for the culture like yes obviously it didn't sell as much as thriller but freaking thriller sold like to this date over 100 million albums but bad ju did just as good and during the bad era you saw a bit more of like michael's edge you mm -hmm. know michael was becoming that icon that we know mm -hmm. you know but i don't i mean oh this performance i'm so thankful for you guys to like that you guys told us to watch this version because oh my god this version blew me out of the water blew me out of the water and i love the choir i love I, the, I love his look in yeah, here i love the shirt and this um the outfit that he, he's wearing is from the the way you make me feel uh music video damn and i love that song i i, I have a feeling i, yeah, I might, know i love the i have a feeling you might have heard that song before it's one of his biggest songs but i'm not gonna like play it for you right now i mean i think we'll react to it soon but i love michael's look yeah you're you're right i love his shirt i love that i, know, shirt I so love much. it um <laughs> i love the performance so i mean like hearing him sing live he sounds just like he does on the album i know you know and uh you can just you can feel the passion in his voice and in his face and just everything anyway I just like you know in the mid in the middle of like um watching that it made me feel so bad because like I think in our um part two of our introduction <laughs> like I didn't say Michael is my number one but like listening to that watching that like of course Michael is number one like Michael can't be number one Michael is like zero yeah can Michael be zero no he'd be like minus one or something minus yeah. one he'd be on his own level yeah like, well I mean you you're just getting into Michael I mean you no like... but still I love Michael <laughs> like I don't just love Michael for his music but I love him like if Michael was alive I would follow Michael <laughs> Like, I would leave you for Michael. Hey, man. If Michael told I me, I would, <laughs> for me to leave, I would leave. Yeah. Like, that's how much I love Michael. Yeah. Oh, man. You don't see performers like this. Like, it's, no. and I know it's very, I don't want to sound biased. Um, I really want to, like, talk about Michael in a realistic manner. Like, I don't want to just be 
fanboying but i can honestly say like even if i wasn't a fan of michael or i just kind of casually liked him i'm like watching him perform a song it's just so unique and different that you have no choice but to respect him you know because i have i mean you know i listen to music non-stop um and i watch a lot of live performances and i have yet to see a performer to match the energy and the timelessness of michael jackson and not just that like a performer can perform but man like when michael performs a song it just it's something new it's something different and uh you know for anyone to not like michael how like how like, i'm just so i i'm so baffled by that because put away what you may think of him you know uh just judge him on his music you know you don't have to like him as a person i mean i i do i mean i love michael as a human being and i love him as a performer but when you see this, if you're not a Michael fan, how are you not just blown away? And how are you not like respecting him more? Um, and like he puts on a show like he, when you watch him, you can't take your eyes off of him. And that's what a performer should do. You know, they should like they should stop the world so that they could watch him. Mm -hmm. But this performance, wow, like just wow. Like, I mean, if we weren't recording, honestly, guys, I would have teared up a bit. Um, I just don't want to ever cry on camera, but <laughs> It did. It really it. I, I felt something like very nostalgic about it. Like I always kind of say that when it comes to Michael, I feel very nostalgic. But watching him perform, I couldn't see the rest of the world. I couldn't even see you like I was <laughs> like, um, except for this one part where he's spinning, which we'll play right here. Dude, that spin. And then when he falls and drops, I'm like, holy crap. I know. Like, Jesus Christ, that is insane. Oh, my God. But thank like, you guys so much for this, man. Like, I don't think anyone who watches Michael, like, who watches Michael perform and hears his songs, I don't think anyone could ever not lo love him. Hey, like, man. not just like, you can't just like Michael. You have to love yeah, him. It's true. Because he's just... Like, he's so talented. He's like, he's a prodigy. He's a genius. Like, the way he just talks, like, you know, even as he talks, when he's like, you know, just practicing a song, it's like so melodic. Like, yeah. oh my God, who does that? No one does yeah. that. Like, no one is that talented, but Michael is. Yeah, and a lot of people when they perform live, like a lot of these artists, sometimes they're not good live. And sometimes you're just like, okay, I like them just because of like their studio work. Mm -hmm. And then you see them perform live and you're like, uh, it kind of gets lost. But with Michael, it's almost the complete opposite. Like you'll love Michael, but with, then when you see him perform, you love him more. You love him because you're like, holy crap, because he doesn't just sing a song and kind of like go through the motions. He puts on a performance like this is perfect because he had, you know, a gospel group behind him mm -hmm. singing and um, kind of curious to know if like that is like a very popular gospel group. But, um, you know, it, it must have been an honor. It must have been something that they're going to remember for the rest of their lives. But when Michael puts on a performance, he makes sure that everything around that performance is perfection. And it's and it's a showcase. It's not just him with a microphone just singing, maybe doing a few dance moves. No, it's everything. It's, it's the theatrics of it. And he does it in a very just a very beautiful genuine way it's it's very beautiful and it's this is one of the best performances and i, I can't wait till we watch more of his live performances because i haven't seen a lot of his live performances as well so uh i can't wait to go on that journey but um you know, yeah and it's so sweet when that guy like came yeah to michael and like wipe you wipe know, the sweat off of him and stuff it was so genuine and beautiful i know it's like it's so sweet because like i feel like sometimes like that is kind of what michael needs because michael <laughs> seems to be like you know for me like when i when i saw like parts of the this is it like a uh, movie mm -hmm. when i saw parts of that it's like he just seems to be someone who pushes himself without knowing that he's at his limit yeah like he just kind of goes on until yeah. like he actually can't get up anymore mm -hmm. But so like, you know, so I feel like that's really what Michael needs, like, you know, some genuine people around him. That is what he really he's he needed in his life. Genuine people to kind of remind him that, you know, it's OK to rest. It's OK yeah. to have, you know, to have help. But that's not Michael. He he gives it his all. On I know stage, it's not. But so. like, I love him so much. And I just like I don't love Michael just as for his songs and just as a performer. Like, I love him for him. Yeah.
Oh man, but thank you guys so much for recommending this version. Yes. Very, very ecstatic about it. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned. We're starting the Dangerous um, era next week. Um, I think we're going to be recording next week, like late next week. So you might not yeah. see some of our videos until later of next week. Yeah. But we're starting the Dangerous era and we're going to be starting with watching a, a, yeah, a mini documentary done by The Detail. Um, it's a YouTube uh, channel. They're 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 very good. I mean, uh, but I I've, I've already watched this, but I wanted you to watch it just so that you could have an understanding about kind of um, the importance of the Dangerous album and that era because that's my favorite um, release by him. And some of my favorite songs are off of that album by Michael. And I cannot yeah. wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> like since we started this, I've been like just waiting to do Dangerous, but I wanted to like. I wanted to make sure we had a good audience so that we all could just really experience Dangerous together because that's my favorite album and then we'll be doing bad and live performances yeah. and thriller and all this stuff. So the journey is still happening, but uh, please stay tuned. I think um, look forward to that Michael Jackson, the detail uh, documentary, probably, I don't know, next honestly, week, Thursday or Friday, probably. No, I think honestly it might be like like the week after yeah so we'll just we'll um put in a community tab of when it's gonna be yeah but yeah it's we're gonna be recording late next week yeah so yeah. don't worry uh we'll be keeping you guys updated but uh yeah. guys thank you guys so much for watching supporting liking all that stuff you guys are phenomenal uh mm -hmm. check out our last man in the mirror uh the moonwalker version and i think before that we did uh the billy jean motown 25 uh, I'll put all the playlists and everything down in the description and in the pinned comment. Um, I'm not sure if this video is going up first or the introduction, but anyways, check out our last couple of, of videos. Um, but yeah, thank you guys and we'll see you in the next video. See you.